Remember that archive of videos I was telling you? I know I already did 33, so I'm just going to try to expand that a little bit. So anyways, just go ahead and show this, ladies and gentlemen. We need to understand a couple of our properties of logarithms. First thing, remember, if we have log base x of a times b, we can rewrite that as log base x of a plus log base x of b. If I have log base x of a over b, I can rewrite that as log base x of a minus log base x of b. Does everybody agree with me on those two rules that we wrote down last class period? Yeah. All right. So therefore, you can see that I have this quotient, I'm sorry, this expression divided by this quotient. So I'm going to break this up and do log base 2 of the square root of x, y to the fourth, minus log base 2 of z to the fourth. Right? Then I go ahead and take a look at this. And I say, well, now I have a product. Right? So my product, I can split into two, addi to the addition of two logarithms. So therefore, that'd be log base 2 of the square root of x plus log base 2 of y to the fourth minus log base 2 of z to the fourth. Then, yes. Why is that addition? Huh? Why is that addition? Because it's the product of two oh, expressions, okay. right? Then the last one that, we didn't, that I didn't show up here yet is if I have m times log base x of a, that's the same thing as log base x of a raised to the m power. right? So all these exponents I can rewrite in front. Now, we might need to say, well, what is square roots? Right? Remember the rational exponents? So therefore, I can rewrite, instead of writing the square root, I can rewrite this as 1 half. Then I bring this down, so I have 1 half log base 2 of x plus 4 log base 2 of y minus 4 log base 2 of z. And that would be your final answer. So for 33, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay.